Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another word of encouragement, your health tip and a prayer with Dr. Deborah Williams, aka Dr. Debs. We are moving on with Jesus. He shall receive power. We are going to be sharing with you today from March 1. Remember, we're coming down. We got this lesson a few weeks ago and I'm going through it day by day. So I'm at March 1. Theme, a holy fragrance. Let us pray and dig into this food from heaven. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for Jesus Christ, your darling son. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of justification and sanctification and soon glorification. Thank you, Lord God, for imputing and imparting the righteousness of Christ to us. We have indeed been redeemed. Salvation has come to mankind over 2,000 years ago. You have given us back your Holy Spirit. And you are forming men and women back in your image and your likeness. And so, Lord, my heart rejoices. And as I study and your Holy Spirit gives the convictions, I'm sharing, I'm sharing all over the world the marvelous good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ and God the Father who so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in Jesus shall not perish but have everlasting life. Praise the Lord. The trumpet must be blown, Father. The world must be told. Then the end will come. So, Father, I ask your blessing over all the hearers today in the hearing of your servant, your daughter's voice. Oh, take the chains that the devil has placed on them off their hearts and their minds and let them hear the voice of God through your daughter, Deborah, calling my brothers and sisters, come home, come home. The father has sent Jesus over 2000 years ago. Jesus is interceding on behalf of all of us, calling sinners to come home, come home to righteousness and holiness. Thank you, Abba Father, for your Holy Spirit and your angels, your angels of excellent strength who are here on the earth protecting us from Satan and his demons. Thank you, Lord, for the guardian angels. In Jesus' holy name we pray, with thanksgiving and love. Amen. Now for our word of encouragement. I, I am praying that you are all into this devotional. I've been telling you to get it. Go to Google and type in, Ye shall receive power by Helen G. White. You will not regret it. I am enjoying every day of it. No, a holy fragrance. Our scripture reading comes to us from John 15, 16. He have not chosen me, said Jesus, but I have chosen you and ordained you that he should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Praise the Lord. Now, if a human being came to me who I know have some money in a bank somewhere and they say, Deborah, I promise you, I put on a million dollars for you. Just go to the bank and draw it out. I would have jumped into my van and reached the bank so fast. And here we have the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords saying, I have chosen you. I have ordained you. You must go and bring forth fruit. And he says, your fruit will remain. And he says, once the fruit of the Holy Spirit is, is, is germinating and it is bearing fruit. It is growing in us. The fruit is being seen in us when we are transformed, when we receive the new heart and the new mind. Then he says, whatsoever we ask of the Father in his name, the Father will give it unto us. And so we have to get the conviction and the conversion before we know how to pray right. And that can only come to us, brothers and sisters, through Jesus Christ. Now, when we look at John 15, 16, Jesus was talking to the disciples then. Is it applicable to us in 2024? Look at John 17. When Jesus was praying, this is, this is really the Lord's prayer, John 17. As Jesus was praying to his father before he went to the cross to, to become the substitute for mankind, to shed his blood for the remission of our sins. In verse 16, coming down, listen to Jesus. He said, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world, speaking of his disciples. 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so 
have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Then listen to verse 20. Here's how we come in, brothers and sisters, with excitement and joy. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So when we open the Bible and we read Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, when we go into all the writings of Peter and Paul, when we go down and we read the writings um, with Revelation, and we read James, and you go down to Titus, and you know you just go through from Genesis to Malachi, from Matthew to Revelation. Jesus says all the promises that he gave to the disciples is also for all of us who will believe in him through the writings of the patriarchs and the prophets, the disciples, the apostles. And so we've got to study if we truly want to enter into this great kingdom of God and receive power through God's Holy Spirit taking possession of us, brothers and sisters. Now, the devotional says, and it's a marvelous, marvelous devotional as we go from day to day, from January coming down. In order to bear much fruit, we must make the most of our privileges and opportunities, becoming more and more spiritually minded. We must put away all commonness, all pride, all worldliness, and daily receive divine aid. If you grow spiritually, you must employ all the means which the gospel provides and be prepared to gain in piety by the influence of the holy spirit for the seed is developed from blade to full corn by unseen and supernatural agencies the promise with which jesus consoled his disciples just before his betrayal and crucifixion was that of the holy spirit and in the doctrine of divine influence and agency, what riches were revealed to them? For this blessing would bring in its train all other blessings. The Holy Spirit breathes upon the soul who humbly rests in Christ as the author and finisher of his faith. And from such a believer, fruit will come forth unto life eternal. His influence will be fragrant. And the name of Jesus will be music in his ears and melody in his heart. The Christian will be a saver of life unto life to others. Although he may not be able to explain the mysteries of his experience, but he will know that when clouds and darkness compassed him about and he cried unto the Lord, the darkness was dispensed. It was dispersed and peace and joy were in the temple of his soul. He will know what it is to have the pardoning love of God revealed to the heart, to experience the peace that passeth all understanding, to have praise and thanksgiving and adoration welling up in the soul unto him who has loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, he has peace through Jesus Christ and joy in the Holy Spirit. One with Christ, his soul is filled with submission to his will and heaven is enshrined in his heart while he is enfolded in the bosom of infinite love. Christians of this order will bear much fruit to the glory of God. They will rightly interpret the character of God and manifest his attributes unto the world. End of reading. Praise the Lord. Now that reading came from the Signs of the Times, April 3rd, 1893 by Helen G. White. Brothers and sisters, there is no better news than the good news of Jesus Christ. I'm going to continue reading from from John 15. Look at, listen to John 17. Listen to Jesus. These things I command you, that he love one another. If the world hate you, 
Ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they had persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this come it to pass, that the word might be fulfilled, that is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. 27 and last. And he also shall bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, as we walk with Jesus, as we trace his actions and his activities, as the disciples write their experience, we live the experience with them. We become partakers of this marvelous gospel with them. We become transformed into the image and the likeness of God. And this is marvelous inheritance. This is a true wealth of men and women on the planet called earth and i say praise the lord hallelujah father thank you so very much for salvation thank you lord for jesus christ who you sent for us thank you god for the marvelous news that you have chosen us and you have ordained us that we must now go and bring forth fruit as disciples of jesus christ your darling son Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Father, that when your word falls upon our hearts, it will bring forth much fruit. 30, 60, 100, even a thousand folds. We will work with Jesus. We will cooperate with Jesus as we consecrate ourselves to you, Father. Use us in this mighty army of disciples working with Jesus, empowered by your Holy Spirit to draw all men and women back to the kingdom of God, is our prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. You can't but be happy and excited if you truly surrender your all to Jesus. Receive the Holy Spirit and experience the joy and the peace and the transformation that he gives to those in the world who wants him as Lord, Adonai, King and Savior. It's marvelous news. Now for our health tip, we're going to continue looking at various herbs and their health benefits. Now, today, I'm going to look at a herb called corn silk. Now, when you take a corn and you pluck the corn and you take the outer parts off, there's a lovely silky thread. That silky thread, which we normally throw away, is called corn silk. But after today, you will never throw it away again. Listen to the health benefits of the corn silk. Now, it is generally used for kidney disease, bladder disease, or as a um, di diuretic, right? Now, it says corn silk is the best single herb for increasing urine flow, thus helping to eliminate kidney and bladder problems. Internally, Corn silk tea is used for bedwetting, for chronic cystitis, inflammation of kidneys and bladder, kidney stones, uh, prostate problems, excess uric acid, and urine retention. 
it is a good remedy for all inflammatory conditions of the urethra bladder prostate and kidneys it can remove gravel from the kidneys the bladder and the prostate it helps the aged when their urine is scanty and has heavy sediments use it with other kidney herbs like for example milk thistle is another good kidney herb when the urinary tract needs to be opened up or when there is mucus in the urine take the corn cell tea it lessens the frequency of bedwetting when taken several hours before bedtime it is good for a disease called dropsy and edema now dropsy is an old name for an illness called oedema right oedema and oedema is build up of fluid in the body causing the tissues to swell up in the body they used to call it dropsy now when many persons hear the word dropsy in jamaica when we hear dropsy it means somebody who always falling asleep and can't wake up right but in this particular uh, medical issue dropsy was actually an old name for the disease called oedemia okay now how do we use corn silk corn silk comes in many forms it comes in the tincture which is the liquid it comes in capsules and it comes in the actual dried silk or you can just go to the market and get your corn silk from the vendors who are selling corn now general generally with my patients when they get the actual corn silk from the market i will instruct them to take one tablespoon of the corn silk and they will pour one cup eight ounces of boiling water on it let it steep for five to ten minutes and then they will strain it off and drink it three or four times a day depending on what is wrong with them if you go to the health food store and they have the tincture in liquid form you can take five to twenty drops three times per day in any um water or coconut water or fruit juice depending on what you're taking it for it also comes in powdered form right if you get the capsules you can take anywhere from one to five capsules three times daily now i have used this for years with my patients suffering from many of these illnesses that were just mentioned before and i can tell you without a doubt the corn silk is an amazing herb for persons who are having kidney bladder and any kind of urine issues it works amazingly truly a herb given to us by god for the healing of the nation the second herb we want to look at is the dandelion dandelion now dandelion the parts that we use is the leaf or the root it is excellent as a diuretic it's also very good for the liver so i whenever i have patients come in with liver illness or i'm detoxing my patients dandelion must be in the protocol dandelion is good for the liver the kidneys the gallbladder the stomach the pancreas the intestines and it is an excellent blood cleanser internally dandelion is especially important in promoting the formation of bile and removing excess water from the body it is also the root decidedly affects all forms of secretion and excretion from the body by removing poisons from the system it acts as a tonic and a stimulant as well it cleanses the blood and the liver it is especially good as a blood cleanser for diabetics persons with the same dropsy illness right and even persons who are suffering from eczema skin problems because of its high mineral content it is used also to treat persons who are suffering from anemia so if you're anemic dandelion is a good herb to use to help you to build back the iron in your blood it reduces serum cholesterol and uric acid levels now remember uric acid normally builds up because you're eating too much meat get rid of the flesh and your uric acid will go down and then dandelion now is an excellent aid as you're going through the process now lukewarm dandelion tea is useful for persons who are suffering from constipation fever insomnia or stomach problems dandelion improves the functioning of the pancreas the kidneys the spleen and the stomach 
An infusion of the fresh root is good for gallstones, jaundice, and other liver problems. For stomach aches, drink a half cup of the infusion every half an hour. Infusion means that you pour the water on the dandelion leaves. Let it steep for about 20 minutes and then strain it off and drink it. That's what infusion means, right? The root is a specific, the root now has to be boiled. You have to boil the root for about, say, 10, uh, 15 minutes, very low heat, and then turn the stove off, let it steep, and then now you can drink it as a tea. Dandelion root is specifically helpful for persons who are suffering from hypoglycemia, which means low blood sugar right the opposite to what diabetics suffer from which is hyperglycemia which is high blood sugar now it's also very helpful for persons who are suffering from high blood pressure because it helps in the action of the heart and how the heart functions dandelion relieves menopausal symptoms and is useful also for boils taken internally right breast tumors um, cirrhosis of the liver, constipation, as we said before, right? Liver and spleen enlargement, fatty liver disease, fluid retention, jaundice, bronchitis, and rheumatism. It may help prevent eight spots on the skin. Serious causes of persons who are suffering from hepatitis has been cured with the use of the dandelion root tea. Within weeks of drinking it under the supervision of a trained naturopathic physician like Dr. Deborah Williams. So if you're suffering from any of these illnesses, you need to call my office and make an appointment. Life Health and Foods Wellness Center, 876-878-8867 or 876-326-4650. And we will do a special health assessment consultation with you and write a special program for your particular illnesses as we teach you how to use the herbs, detox your body, and get you on the new START program. Nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest, and trust in God. New START, we call these the eight laws of health. Now, when you're going to make the dandelion tea, it comes in the actual root, it comes in powder, it comes in capsules, it also comes in the tincture, in the liquid form. Generally, if you find the powder, you'll use a half teaspoon to 8 ounce boiling water. And you'll just pour it on the powder and let it simmer at, let it simmer at very low heat for about 3 minutes. Now, if you get the actual root chopped up, then now you need to boil that for about 10 to 15 minutes very very low heat and then let it steep for 10 minutes strain and you drink you can have one to three cups per day right as you remember when you're using the herbs your diet and lifestyle must change oftentimes persons who are suffering from hypertension diabetes tumors eczema um the the dropsy right all of these issues with, with tissue and muscles and um, swelling all over the body, it's, becoming, it's coming from diet and lifestyle. And so we can't just go and start drinking the herbs until we have made a change to our dietary and lifestyle habits contributing to the problems. So I hope that is very clear. Okay. All right. Now, we have launched Dr. Deb's Institute of Health. The launch was on March 11th, 2024. We have started our first class, which is Mastering Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking. The course is going very, very well. Now, for those of you who still want to enter, you only missed one class, you still can register and join the class. Just simply go to www.doctor, doctor spelled out, drdebshealth.com so that's www.drdebshealth or lowercase dot com you still can register for the class you've only missed one class you just go to the website and scroll to the very bottom of the page and you'll see the options there and it says click here to enroll 
and you just click there and it takes you right to the registration page now come april 15th i'm going to be launching a 10-day detox program where i'm going to coach 50 persons i'm only limiting the class to 50 persons i'm going to personally coach 50 persons across the world for 10 days on a 10-day detoxification and optimum health program it is called detoxification with strength with dr deborah williams so listen out for that in fact if you want to register early you can call the office from now and just place your interest that you want to be one of the 50 who will be doing the 10-day detoxification challenge with dr debs come april don't miss that one too many persons are diseased. Too many persons are suffering from hypertension, high cholesterol, obesity, rheumatoid arthritis, aches and pains all over their bodies, cysts on the liver and cysts on the kidneys and cysts all over the body because your blood is impure, because your body is filled with toxins. So I'm going to personally work with 50 persons all over the world who wants to do the 10-day detox challenge with Dr. Dave. It's called detoxification with strength. So you can call the office at 876-878-8867 or 876-326-4650 or just send a text and say, I want to be a part of the 10 days detox challenge with Dr. Debs in April when it is released. Now it will be announced on Facebook. So you can just simply go to Williams Deborah. It's going to be announced on Facebook. It will be on my Instagram page which is the center of influence the center of influence that's my instagram page name or just keep listening to this program your word of encouragement your health tip and a prayer you can email us at admin at mylifehealthfoods.com and just note your interest you want to be a part of the upcoming 10 day detoxification challenge with dr debs so brothers and sisters we want you to be healthy and we're doing our part in educating god's children week by week every single week for three years now we've been doing this program they are uploaded every monday on my youtube channel so if you have missed them in the past and it's the first you're hearing my voice today just simply go to youtube type in dr deborah williams and you can go back and listen to the previous tapings and many other health seminars that i have done and we've uploaded the videos to the YouTube channel. Let us close in prayer. Father, how marvelous you are. We thank you for your son, Christ Jesus, who has given us all the aid we need, that we will be in good health and prosper, even as our soul shall prosper. And so we're occupying on this earth until Jesus come. God's redeemed the children filled with your Holy Spirit, guarded by angels, and we are taking the field by storm. We are helping other brothers and sisters to come. Yes, come into the kingdom of, of God. Come into the heart of safety. The blood has already been shed. Redemption through Jesus' blood. It has already been done over 2,000 years ago. Jesus is calling. Sinner man, sinner woman. Jesus is calling. Come. Do not be destroyed with Satan. Christ is coming back very soon. Brothers and sisters, we got to get ready and stay ready. So remember, Maranatha, Christ is coming again. Stay in your Bible. Stay in prayer. Fasting and prayer is important in these last days. Do not be distracted by the things of the world. It's going to be burnt up very soon. Yes, you got to make sure you stay with Jesus. So when he comes, he will give you your reward for being his faithful servant. What a wonderful savior is Jesus, our Jesus. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day until we speak again. Goodbye for now from Dr. Debs.